Welcome to the channel YouTube world. I am pumped. I'm excited. Straight to the point. It's fixed. The tone cloud preset you need bias amp to and all that bullshit. It's done. There is a beta update and I'll have a link down in the description as well as the relinks to the 2.1.8 official so that you can play around with that. Just stay away from 2.1.9 because that's the one where it's like, okay, you could see here the version. I'm on 2.1.10.4890, okay. And when I go to my presets, you just have to take my word for this. There's no reason for me to make this up. All but two of these presets um, didn't work before. So I couldn't click on this one. I've already, I've already played it and it works. I just had to turn down my uh, my speaker there. I couldn't click on this one. It worked like the, that one actually already worked. There was only two that worked: the RD seventy seven U two, where the streets have no name, and the Money Solo from Pink Floyd. These were the only two. This one and this one that worked. All these other ones were all blacked out. Anyhow, it works. That's that's the whole point of this video. So never mind me ranting on about that. Let's get into a little bit of history here. Now that you have the links down below, if you don't care about my rambling. Why this is so important, I want to share this with the Positive Grid community, is simple. Because the thread that I opened up that's garnered uh, quite a few views, we had some people get responsive from Positive Grid rep members saying, since the 2.1.9 release, we've changed the policy on Bias Effects 2's Tone Cloud licensing. The accessibility of the, re of the presets have been adjusted. From now on, the presets that contain Bias Amp 2 content will be unavailable to those who do not own the respecting license. This is merely to reinforce the same principle across all additional contents. Bias Amp 2, Bias Pedal, Celestian Expansion Packs for Bias Fix 2. So that's when we were all flipping out, and rightfully so, because that was an official response. And then I made a video on, oh my god, this is so bad, and quick, grab 2.1.8 while you can, right? If you remember that video, if you happen to watch it. Well, later on down the road, throughout the thread, there's a guy um, named Mike. And he was basically saying, yeah, you know, sorry about that. It's, it's a, it was a mistake. You have other people, you know, sharing that it wasn't working for them. Uh, here's the old links. And I'm, and I'm just like, what, what's going on? Like, because that's where the confusion came in. Because he's making it sound like that whole thing was a glitch. But from what I just read to you, that doesn't sound like a glitch. That sounds like it's intended. Either which way, the end result is moving forward with the next update, which should be available shortly. It fixes that. So that's great news. So whether it was a bug, that guy didn't know what he was talking about, or they retracted on the cash grab motto that they were going to do moving forward, whatever the reason is, they have fixed it. There he is. Sorry. Mike, the uh, moderator, okay? The situation now is caused by the fix. Fixed can't read AMP2 license and presets. But who's right here? Him or the... Doesn't matter. So then he goes, we'll look into this and we'll let you know next week if you would like to revert back to 2.18, though. In the meantime, you can. Here's the installers down below. And then these are the links I'm going to have for you guys provided if you don't want to go on the uh, beta update and you want the official, you'll have them all here. Like, isn't that amazing? Like, he shares that, and then he goes, sorry for the inconvenience, thank you, and stay safe. Like, that's just amazing. So whoever that guy was that replied to that guy, right, of what I just read to you, that's the guy that maybe, you know, needs one of these, because I don't know where he got that, but it does sound pretty proper. Uh, you know, it doesn't just sound like something the guy pulled out of his ass. It sounds like a pretty um, official statement. And then moving forward, I know I'm kind of rambling and taking my time here, but at least I got to the point fairly quickly that it just, it works. It's been fixed. Um, there's somewhere here, again, see? Mike, here is the new beta, 2.1.10. Please feel free and give it a try. He uploaded this as of the making of this video about 10 hours ago, so sometime earlier today. And again, the release note on that is fix the duplicated presets issue and fix the tone cloud preset issue. The supposed cash grab that the other guy was trying to make it sound like that's where they were going. Uh, apparently that was just a bug. 
And I'm kind of believing more this guy. If you want my opinion, I'm just a nobody, but if you wanted my opinion, I think Mike is the right guy, and I think it was, honestly, a mistake this whole time, because as far as I know, Positive Grid's a fairly reputable company, and they've been great to me. They're pretty quick at replying the odd couple of times over the years that I've had to talk to them for a brief moment. Whereas that other guy, I believe that that's the response he got, but it's just to say for the sake of conversation, I never saw an actual official rep reply that to me because I emailed customer support and that's not the response I got. The response I got was actually pretty generic. It was just, sorry for the inconvenience. We're looking into a fix. And I'm like, what's there to fix if you're changing your business model? but apparently they were never going to. And in the patch notes for 2.1.9, there is no mention that moving forward, they're going to change the licensing with the tone, right? So I think this whole thing was just a misunderstanding is basically what I'm getting at. And, you know, I want to apologize if if that is the case to Positive Grid for, you know, kind of shitting on them for a bit because I thought that's the direction they were going in. But now we can clearly see that that is not the future of this company. It looks like everything's going to revert back to the way uh, things were before. And that's why I made this video, plain and simple. I'm sorry that it was nearly, you know, several minutes long. That's just part of my personality. I ramble a lot. Uh, so yeah. So anyway, so if you like the video, if you have any questions, I'm not an expert, but I'll try to answer the very little I do know. So yeah, so you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. You didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure next time you play the guitar, your G-string snaps and it whips you in the fucking eyeball. I'm just saying. And then you're all like, uh, and then you won't be able to see properly to uh, download the beta and enjoy your guitar. Don't ask me what that was. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, wouldn't hurt, you know, I'm close to 5,000 subs. It'd be kind of cool to get up there someday. And if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as. Stay safe, be happy, keep on rocking, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.